Hello and welcome to the production car challenge. We are at the Charlotte Roval, okay, but uh, we're back in time a little bit. It's the Leg Legacy, excuse me, Charlotte Roval, which is very interesting. I've actually never been to this version of the Roval before, and uh, I gotta say, there are some definite improvements on the new Roval that uh, definitely make it probably, almost definitely, a better track. But I don't dislike this one either. It's got some noticeable differences, including my least favorite part, which is the fact that they really emphasize the uh, oval part of Roval at <laughs> this version. Because uh, notice how we're in turn two? Yeah, we're gonna be on the oval all the way until turn one. So, Roval with a capital oval, I guess, <laughs> here at this version. But uh, I've been having fun learning it, like I said, never been here before, except for the one production car challenge race I did already. Green, green, and I green. didn't record because I was grumpy okay, <laughs> last night. Uh, lots of frustrating internet issues and different things were putting me in a bad mood and I was not pleasant to listen to and I kind of just wanted to enjoy driving without having to worry about being uh, friendly. <laughs> so now I'm feeling better though and uh, this is the second time I've ever been here but now I'm uh, talking about it for the first time on my channel so um, kind of managing cold tires right now on this first level. Ooh, got sideways there. I don't know if you noticed that. Right when I start talking about the cold tires, they start biting. But not too bad a lap so far. Um, we're about seven tenths, approaching seven tenths off of my all time optimal. If I can get in the 20s, I'll be happy. Uh, probably not gonna get the pull with that, but. Not too concerned. I'm gonna go ahead and run the bottom here, even though I'd get a better run running around the top. Because I want to fall back on this one in case I make a mistake here on lap two. Lap. We'll have to come up here though, or else right, so I'm gonna miss the corner. P2, the lap time was 121.25. But I've been having fun with this one. Um, it's got the world's most dangerous pit exit. I don't know if you noticed, but you exit the pits and then you're just immediately in the middle of the whole racing line. <laughs> it's like, I can't believe anyone thought that was a good idea. Maybe they didn't think it was a good idea and they just decided to do it anyway, I don't know. But, uh, kind of absurd. And that did become a factor during the last race I did and didn't record. Spoiler alert. Well, people coming out of the pits and just ending right in the way. I don't think people quite realize where they come out sometimes. But that's something to think about. And it's looking like our second lap might be a little bit better here. The Mustangs obviously are going to be much faster because they've got all of this oval to run, run on. They make use of their high horsepower, so we got the Mustangs ahead of us, and then a couple of uh, a couple of Mazdas ahead of us as well. But this will be a better lap. We'll see how much better. The leader has just done a ticket flag. Ticket flag. Ah, I missed out on the 120s. That's too bad. I didn't push as hard as I maybe could have, but I'm not too upset with that. I did actually win the other race I did. But that was in things, thanks in large part to the guy that out-qualified me for pole. I think I qualified second. The guy that qualified pole self-spun on lap one and then took out like three or four guys behind me. And suddenly, I didn't have much competition for front runner, And I ended up just slowly gapping everyone as they fought each other and ended up winning by about 26 seconds. Which sounds impressive, but again, it's because guys wrecked into each other and then we're fighting each other instead of working together to catch up to me. 
so I was basically just on out on my own running hot laps the whole time and avoiding scary <laughs> scary other classes and lap cars so that's the story of that one uh, great learning though I've had fun learning this one uh, that number five is gonna be a real challenge to keep up with his uh, qualifying time was right around where my all-time best is so if he's able to rattle those laps off consistently then I'm gonna have my work cut out for me unless he uh, self spins on the lap one like the other guy did <laughs> and even if he does that if he gets going real quick maybe you know it's a long race he might be able to come right around but I think I should be ready here been having some fun learning this layout. I wouldn't replace the regular Robo with this, but I like that they uh, decided to switch it up a little bit and bring the production car challenge to the old version. So uh, guys like me can experience it for the first time. I'm sure there's lots of uh, longtime iRacers that uh, are quite familiar with this version because it's the version they had, the only version they had for a while maybe. But I don't know the history of it. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know if people even really ran this layout very often um, before the updated role will become a real uh, more prominent thing. I have no idea. Maybe they uh, ran this a bit because uh, Charlotte has always been a free track, so maybe that is the case. I don't know. I really like this turn one, though. I really like that part of this layout. It's a challenging corner, but it's very rewarding if you feel like you do it right. And uh, this set of corners doesn't feel all too different from the way it is in the uh, original layout, and then from there, from uh, from here on, things get pretty different. This is a little bit similar. This little section here. And then this is a little bit weird. Before you head back out onto the oval. <laughs> and then obviously no chicanes. They didn't add the front or back stretch chicanes until later. So that's why you get thousands of miles of driving in a straight line, essentially. So we have to make our own chicanes. Woo! That's the end of the session. Anyway, go into the race. If anyone was even still listening to me babble. Uh, we're going to go ahead and set up the camera for later. And uh, we, what was that, P2 was the Mazdas? All right, and very close to a couple of guys behind us. Very similar times here. Uh, four tenths off is not too bad for four or five right there. And then we got a bit of a gap starting in 13th. But those guys could have just had made mistakes during qualifying or something, so maybe they've got enough speed to keep up, especially with draft, so. Definitely gonna have to be patient if we're uh, around a lot of guys. We actually got a fair number of Mustangs this time. And then a uh, billion Mazdas, we got two car battle in the Jettas, and four in the Solstice. So we got a little bit of everything. We got races going on in every class. Everyone showed up, One to go. at least Take a little bit. Right. Line up on the right side. Pit road is closed. So, so on a scale of one to ten, how big of a bus do you think turn one going to be? I hope a one. <laughs> Talking about how much he thinks turn one's going to be a problem, I hope it's not much. Is it really going to be that bad? I hope not. It's a high race. Get your dang brakes. Be patient. I don't know, maybe it's going to be bad. Not my favorite thing to hear, but yeah, why would it be other than fine? Yeah. That'll be a turn zero crash. I don't. That should at least one person get the 4x and the pace lap. Well, we're pessimistic today. I think it is single split. That's not a good. Everything's great. Looking forward to get back in the car at Phoenix. I don't know what he's talking about. We're going to Phoenix next. I feel like that's a reference I don't know or something. But we're going to be watching this guy on our left in the 
need to follow Carl shiny chrome the in the right lane. tender car, I guess. Are they going to be leaving a uh, gap, the Mustangs? They will be. Jetstar 23, car. We need to catch up to car Probably don't lead, need to leave that much of a gap. They are faster. Okay, now we're going. And I don't know if it's necessary to leave all that much, because... Mustangs are going to pull away anyway, most likely, but... Good to leave a little bit in case they start crashing immediately. But hey, it's not up to me. It's up to the leader, so... Let's try to get a little bit of heat in the tires. On the uh, pace lap here. Brakes warmed up. Making sure he's not swerving into me. That's another thing that we don't want to happen. He's gonna be fast, so. Don't wanna lose him. I wanna try to stay in his draft, if possible. Speaking of draft, we're probably gonna get guys catching up to us with this gap that we left. By the time we get to turn one, so that's going to be a little scary. Maybe that guy was right about horrible things happening. The Mustangs aren't all that far ahead, and they still got a turns three and four to go. Make sure that I'm not passing him. Get ready, going green. For the 4,575 million times, swerving doesn't warm up your tires. Okay, so he went uh, whenever the pace car said it was off. That's when he decided to go. We got a guy that uh, has the shorter way around below us, so we will essentially be starting P3. I can live with that. Car on your left. Keep to the right. Clear on the left. Being careful. Stay on the right. Clear. No reason to wreck ourselves now. Just gonna use our way around, be wary of the cold tires. Have ourselves a fun drive. Was there a long way to go? I often say it, but these uh, production car challenges are usually the longest road races I do. And they're not even all that long compared to some of the other stuff out there, so. Hey, we got a nice little gap behind us, though. Second and a half. That might be enough to stay out of their draft. Especially if we got draft of our own. That's nice. Are they going to be trying to break draft and be crazy? I promise you. we got a lot of time. Got over 23 minutes. So, not sure that's all that necessary. But, hey, you guys can play around all you want. I'm going to be patient. And I'm also going to hit the brakes a lot earlier into turn one than I usually do because we're going to be going in there a lot faster than normal. Before. That's way too soft. I'm going to need to get around this guy if he's going to enter that turn that soft. That was like babying it. Goo goo gaga into turn one. Don't want to lose the draft of the two guys ahead if I don't have to. Alright, let's catch up to those guys again, hopefully. 
Still looking good, pulling away from the guys behind, although the number one is back there. They might be able to catch us, because presumably they're fast. We got some smoke. I don't know if the Mustangs had some trouble or something. <laughs> they are weaving like crazy. It's not necessary, I promise you. What are you going to do? You're going to break the draft and then what? <laughs> like, I just, I don't think guys think it through. They're just like, gotta, gotta make them go slower. I just, I don't know. Nope, too busy trying to figure out how the fuck to pronounce your name. There's also been some really weirdly racially insensitive remarks being made. Like, last race there was some really weird thing, and that one was kind of borderline not cool. So that guy's... Got an Asian name, and he's like, oh, don't know how to pronounce your name. Like, okay, who well, cares? I don't know. Let me not get on that topic. But I've had to protest someone. Let's just, put, just leave it at that. Saying things that are not good to say. Don't want to have to do that again. It's a waste of my time. So we're going to catch those lead guys again because they're choosing not to work together. Or at least one of them was making that decision for them. Probably the guy in the middle of the turn. Not sure what that's about. You're doing some weird stuff. Alright, baby it into turn one again. Here we are. I'm just hoping they wreck each other again. He's in the and the I was gonna say grass. I guess that's grass. It's some dead looking grass though. Will someone water that grass, please? It's gasping. It's parched. Someone please. Oh my god, please go. But, like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter if I pass him, because he's just going to be right back on us. I don't like the fact that we got guys coming up behind us, though. Hmm. Interesting. Just going to hang down here. This is silly. I hate draft. Draft never makes racing better, change my mind. Okay, Colton. Hold your nerve, just keep it smooth. Power on your legs. Sector you may one. say, oh, Nine. super Still speedways. And I said, racing. Keep to the right. That's different. Clear on the left. Left side. Alright, we're getting railroaded. Clear on the left. Oh, have fun, guys. And then I'm like absurdly f oh. Left side. Clear on then I'm like faster through all these sections, and I just have to wait for them. I miss whenever I pulled away in the last race. That was nice. Don't gotta worry about these nincompoops. Nah, I'm sure most of them are fine. Except for maybe this mean guy in front of me, that paint scheme's scaring me. So, uh, we're at Charlotte Super Speedway now. As we head through turns two through four. Just gonna ride behind them, no reason to pass anybody. Oh, wow, we're breaking that earlier. Easiest warning, I guess. P5, that lap was at 121.76. Yikes. Babying it even more now. Before we were babying it, now we're like embryoing it or something.
just gonna have to be smart about this, I think. Even though I could pass them, I, it's just not a good idea. Because then they're just gonna try to pass me back, and then if we're constantly side by side, what good's that gonna do? You're just gonna be increasing your chance for mayhem. So if someone decides they want to pass me, I'm just going to let them have it. We'll worry about all that other stuff later, so long as we're keeping up with the leader. That's my uh, final goal. Try to be up front. Kind of worried they're going to run into... Oh my god, what are we doing? Backing out. Stay on the right. Clear. These guys are not being very smart about this. Oh, Colton. Come on, mate. Carl, you left. Sixth place. You've just oh, got to stay on the right. Let's go. Clear <laughs> on the left. How many minutes do we have left and we're, like, running into each other? Maybe I'll regret this later, but Jesus. Whoa. Wipers? Did I hit a button by accident? Have we always had those? Am I losing my mind? The heck? <laughs> Suddenly windshield wipers. Guess I got dust on my windshield and I had to wipe it off. That's funny. This is my tear off button. I didn't hit that, did I? No. Weird. Maybe it just automatically happens if you get enough smudge on the windshield. Alright, so we got three seconds back to Phyllis <laughs> back there. Um, I'm gonna let these guys kill each other, dodge their wreck, and then reevaluate. Because there's no way they make it another 15 minutes without killing each other the way they're driving. There is about a 0 0.43 chance. And you know what? If they do it, then I'm just going to be impressed that the odds were in their favor, and I won't even be upset. But it's not looking good for these some of these guys up here. I'm basically just rolling through these corners. I'm not even pushing at all. I'm going like 10%. If that... Oh, I reckon there. Come on, don't let that leader get away. We'll catch him now, right? Because you're blue guy, you're not gonna try to pass the guy in second, are you? Because you're gonna go get a leader. Dude, what the fuck, man? Got a ton of damage on your bar. Find a way around. We're losing time. Oh my god. This is pretty dumb. You know, I liked it, the race that I did. This uh, layout. I'm liking it less whenever I actually have to deal with other people, though. Way too super speedway for my liking. Gosh, what are you doing down there? Oh my gosh. A leader belt spun out, it looks like. Lynch behind is now yeah. Potential wreck situation here. These people are going for the pass. Oh my gosh. What a mess. I have to imagine the five's just doing what I'm doing to an extent. I don't know, he was kind of getting racy before, but obviously he's fast, because he got pull, but I don't think he's too interested in leading right now. So, will this be the lap that things go down? Man, we're going so fast compared to how you go without draft through here. There they go, doing things, cutting through the grass. OK, 
Okay, Colton, that's half distance. Really be in it. Good for fuel. Maybe in it through here too. Feels like I can't even. I don't even get the chance to race. I'm just like slowing down to the people in front speed because they run stacked on each other. It's kind of not very like I don't know rewarding because it doesn't feel like you're pushing your limits. It feels like you're seeing how I don't know if you can keep at the required limit. I don't know if that makes any sense finding out what the limit is before you run into someone. Don't let those guys get away from one and two. Ugh. That's my biggest fear is guys breaking away and me getting stuck back here. Oh, he's real wide. He's in the wall. Oh, don't bounce out and kill me. Yikes. I know how things like to bounce out sometimes, so I was really worried about that. Now it's kicking off. We got some guys running into things and whatnot. That's one more spot we're guaranteed if, as long as we don't wreck by the end of this thing. Lots of smoke all around, that's interesting. I think it might have something to do with that Mustang we're approaching, though. Or wait, that's a Solstice, it looks like. Alright, hopefully I'm close enough to this draft. If not, it's fine, we'll just catch up in the infield section. I'm pretty confident in my abilities to keep up with them there. You're coming up on a slower car. Solstice kind of all over the track. The gap in front is now 1.0. Okay, Colton, 10 minutes to go. That's 10 minutes left. Double chances here. Let's make sure we can take them. It's kind of going to be in our way. B6, your last lap time was at 121.76. Don't catch for me. Right side. Clear on Thank the right. Thank you. Oh no, we got another solstice. I didn't even realize. Right in my way. Car on. I can't lose this draft. I can't waste that much time. Not too concerned. Still about nine minutes. Gonna pull away from us a little bit. But we'll be able to take turn one how we want. That'll be nice. Last lap we couldn't do that because of the uh, solstice being there. They're still doing weird, swervy stuff up there. That last lap was a 121.39. Get some time back. And hey, look! Look how close we are now. Now, Reeling protect. them back in. Ooh, almost went a little bit wide there. We're back though. We're basically back in line. Looks like they got held up by some solstices up there.
Come on, Jake. What the fuck, man? Car right. Slow car ahead. It's their class leader. Clear. Can't be okay. Jake, okay, why the fuck would you ram me like that, man? Clear. Uh, it's continuing to look dicey up here. Okay, that guy disappeared. Is he coming back or is he gone for good? I'd love to know. I think he's gone for good, maybe. Unless that was an incident out. Like, he uh, got disqualified. That'd be interesting. We're still obviously in this, though. Hello, please go. Victoria, that was the guy that was up here, wasn't it? Yeah, and the guy that was in second is gone, so that's another person we're past. We're essentially guaranteed the top five as long as we don't wreck. That's nice. I can only imagine they're only going to get further aggressive as this thing goes on. This guy's got a damaged car. Out them lap times, P5. Kinda stuck, just barely driving. Seven enters the corner, weird. Just waiting on him. Oh my gosh, they're almost three wide. <laughs> They're all over each other. That's five minutes to go. Five minutes. Hey, there are the windshield wipers again. Welcome back. <laughs> We're just swerving around, just doing swervy things, as one does. Still not time to go. I don't know if there ever will be a time to go. Obviously, like, in the last lap we're going to try, but they'll probably just wreck each other anyway. That lap time was 22. Waving it through turn one. Rolling. Doing some rolling. Because who needs a throttle pedal anyway? <laughs> well, this is more entertaining than uh, winning by 26 seconds, I will say that. Because at least we got stuff to watch and worry about. <laughs> we might get this Mustang catching up to us. So we have to watch out for that. Make sure we're holding a line. I don't know if they're going to catch us by turn one, though. We'll have to see. Okay, mate, watch for a mistake. <laughs> Why? 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 Why would you do that? Why would you make it three wide? I've got questions for you. Why? Really, that's only one question, but Blue flag. it's worth multiple. So I'm that baffled. We are poo poo slow. Being caught by the faster class. Imagine that being caught by the faster class. Blue flag. Probably because we are not even hitting the throttle pedal. Watch for whenever GG goes for it. I think he's been in just about every production car challenge race I've ever done. He's always racing this. 
He's waiting till uh wait until the oval part though, which is very smart. Something an experienced racer would do. Car on. There he goes. Still there, hold your own. Clear on the right. They're doing questionable things up front. Just don't need to print that one before. Two minutes to go. Probably gonna have two to go. Come out of the line. Alright. Still there. Still there. Clear. Well done, Colton. Right Keep it up. You're in fourth position. Time was Pushed it a little bit there. See what we can get away with. Yeah, these guys are really starting to go now. We have to put ourselves in it now, though. No waiting around. Right side. Sticking his nose in for Still no reason. There, hold your line. That's annoying. Still there. Clear. Where'd he go? Thought he was out there. <laughs> All right, coming to the white flag now. So all that weaving you did, break all the draft, didn't really do anything, did it? White flag, white flag, left side, you're on the right, three wide. Gotta get some to watch. Still there, left side, on, two set. wide. One more Clear, Keep it you're back in second. Car on your left. You're leading. Sector one Still there, hold your Clear. <laughs> Wait on him because he's sliding around the corner. So now we got someone on our Still inside. There. That's not good. Keep to the left. Still there. Clear. Keep Car on. Track limits. Clear. Yeah, we can't. You can't go too wide there. Oh well. Had to go at some point. Just this dumb drafting racing, man. Well, that stinks. Take me back to the new role. This one sucks. <laughs> Unless you're driving on your own. Then it's... Okay. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. We'll take our uh, top six. The eleven brought themselves up, so that's cool for them. Cast off on the right. It's a guy dying. We're we gonna get past them. Bye bye. We got a fifth. P five. Okay. It's over. Ticket flag. Ticket flag. Alrighty then. That was uh, Charlotte really well. Roval Super Speedway, I guess. <laughs> Got our top five. And uh, 1x, because we had we had to go for it on the final lap. and just, I can't trust people to hold their line, so I have to give too much room, and then I have to give... And then I uh, have no more track left to give. Obviously, I could have handled it better, but... What you gonna do? So, we'll see what happened. 11 came back and got the win. That's funny. That's not enough proof for you that literally nothing matters until the last lap. Don't know why it's showing the safety car. We've got a solstice going off. Uh, that's not good for the car. That guy's complaining about the pacing? Class is he? Mazda? I don't know, I didn't see anything. It must have happened behind us, whatever it was. Speaking of, I didn't see what happened here. Guy 
chops the nose off of that guy. Of that guy. Rick. Just turn like they're not there. Got some Mustangs going around, it looks like. Bring it right back to the middle of the road for some reason. They get it figured out though. Ali Aid is just. What are they doing? Are you serious? Did they just wreck them on purpose after they wrecked themselves earlier? Okay. Man, I'm not gonna waste my time protesting again. Because this is the guy that they turned into. And they're blaming them for the wreck, I guess. That's pretty stupid. Mustang drifting. Mustang not drifting. They're not turning at all. Holy cow. That, uh... That didn't work out so well. <laughs> oh my god. They weren't even close. I watched pole sitters start, Chris. It was fine. Yeah, I didn't see anything. He might be complaining about leaving space for the Mustangs, because he might not be familiar with multi-class racing. Yeah. Lap five, Tinder gets pushed off. This is the guy that, uh, five and two car, holding everyone up. Roped me into it. Ugh. Don't want to waste my time, but number five was leaving a gap with the Mustangs. I couldn't go if I wanted. So that's just someone that doesn't understand how pacing works in multi class. She's gonna name me then. Gotta tell him how it is. Just got some beating and banging. For reasons unknown. How many incidents did some of these lead guys end up with? We got like 7, 13. <laughs> got the 5 and 10. I got my 1. <laughs> Shout out to Phyllis with the win. That was awesome coming from forever back. That's probably what I should have just done. Uh, no leg to the Mustangs. I'm going to leave pay his car. Just one. I'm going to let GG explain it all. For those that don't know, the, the pole sitter of each class has a responsibility to go the pace speed, but they can leave a gap in case this happens. Yes, the Mustangs make a mistake. And uh, each class has their own control car, so when they start going, everyone goes. So long as uh, they're not running over the class in front, because that would kind of defeat the purpose. This eight's a bit of a problem, aren't they? Going all over the place. Oh, there's when that guy bounced off of the wall. I saw that coming, so I left <laughs> extra space in case he had a crazy bounce off. Chris figured it out, all right. Got like another pack battling it out here. A little further back. Swerving all over the place, loses it. Does he safely rejoin, or is he 
taking some other robo. <laughs> Not what he's doing. Did this guy incident out? I'm guessing he did with his 17. He hits the wall on entry. I'll sting in the grass. Looks like what I did later. You know, I could, I should have played that better. I didn't even really want to be in first at that point. So then the draft is just going to bring people around me. Yeah, it's dumb. It's, it's all about positioning. It's not about being, running the course fast. You just, oh, there goes the eight again. Ugh, taking someone with him. Like the, like Phyllis played it right. Don't get me wrong, they were smart about it and figured out where they needed to be, which so happens to be like sixth <laughs> on the entering the last lap. But I just I would rather race the track than try to predict the actions of others. And all this nonsense where you're just drafting. I think this is where, yep, that's where the 12 hit. Too many incidents. Coincidentally, 17, as the 17 hits the wall. I've seen them do that a couple times. Where are they at? 16. They almost got themselves into trouble. I think they hit that wall every, <laughs> every lap. Oh, and there they are. Are they going to cause another problem? Yes. They hit the dirt. Come out hit the uh, number 14 there. Whoa, crazy crossover. But it doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, I my thought was like, all right, I'll take this run. Maybe I can break away from him on this last lap. But not to be. I took my run and I had an exciting moment. Went around the outside. Did I lead a lap? Oh, did I lead the lap? I don't think I did, did I? P5. Dang, I just wanted to lead one lap. <laughs> I don't even think I did that. Not sure if I can see it very easily right now. I'm not going to waste too much time on this, but... Yeah, I don't know if there's a camera that'll help me like see without messing with the camera stuff. Yeah, he beat me to the line. Dang. <laughs> that would have been my consolation. Got taken away from me. But, I mean, just to show you, like... I can take turn one so much better. Go around those guys, and then... For what, though? Because now I'm just coming in here, and... Stuck behind this guy, having to lift off for him. And then he, like, gets sideways. Now, got people running up on me. It's like, you just... There's nothing you can do racing against other people. So now I'm out here and never had to go through there side by side, so I messed it up. I felt like I should have been able to grip there, but I guess my tires never quite got back on. But wait, whatever, it doesn't matter. And then I think we're just gonna watch Phyllis to the end here. Go, Phyllis! You can do it! So, really, you want to be the final one in the pack. I bet they, like, break or something here. Do they just lift off or break, maybe, in order to build a run? They played it smarter. They kept disciplined and remembered that it's not about being fast. It's about being fast at the right time. So these people all go side by side. They just take the run. No breaks. They just part the seas for them. Up the middle. It's exciting for a spectator, I guess, but... <laughs> Silly. What are... Okay, they got hit. I'm like, where are you going? They get blocked and sent down there, and then they decide... I don't know what they decide. And then Meme Machine flips over and... Here I come! Wowzers! 
<laughs> and that's how I got a top five. Have the Mazdas. Got eighth overall. <laughs> Pretty silly. But that's the race. I wonder if anything else happened behind us. Nope, that's it. So I'll take it. Top five. Um, I liked this layout a lot more before I had to race against other people on it because the draft just ruins it. But, uh, you know, the uh, new new Roval doesn't have that problem because we got some chicanes to help even that out a little bit. But I could be okay with that. I'll probably break even on I rating or, I don't know, maybe lose. Ah, we beat the one car, so maybe we'll gain like four I rating or something. I lost 128 last night because the power went out when I was signed up for a race and I couldn't unregister, so that's nice. Ten races in a row where I can I get like a top five, you get like three at a time, and then I lose that times four from the power going out. Ah, fun, fun, fun stuff. That's why I try not to worry about I-rating because I will drive myself insane if I think about it too much. So anyway, enough about that. That was some Legacy Charlotte Roval action. I hope you enjoyed. Something interesting. I'm glad I've had the chance to uh, experience Legacy Charlotte, but let's go back to the new one now, please. <laughs> I appreciate you, and I hope you have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.